Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. It's just me today and I'm going to be just having a little book talk with you guys. I'm going to tell you my current favorite books, my all-time favorite books, everything. So I have a bookshelf in my room and everyone always makes fun of me because I face my books backwards. But it's just a design choice. Like, it looks so much better when it's face backwards. I only have one book that isn't turned around. That's my Justin Bieber one. I think he deserves, you know. You gotta see his name there, like, come on. So my sisters just came out with this book called Sister Strong. Um, Haley and Mandy wrote it. And I just started reading it. There's some funny stories, some spiritual stuff, such great advice that will help you. And it's at Target. Like, okay. You can get this at Target, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, wherever your little heart desires. The book that I'm currently reading is called The Seven Year King. It's the third book in the Fairy Ring series. So, I mean, I would recommend you read the first one first, obviously. So it's about this girl who lives in London in the 1800s and she finds this ring called the Fairy Ring and then, oh, she actually steals it and everything just goes downhill from there. It's really good. Lots of adventure. This is actually Mandy's favorite book. She recommended it to me. And it's really good. I love it. I reread all of the Harry Potters. So I, I mean, I had to talk about those because they're so good. Basically, everyone has read Harry Potter. But it's still one of my favorites. It did honestly take me a little bit to get back into it. Just because I guess I read it a while ago. It's easier to get into the later ones when they're like closer to my age. Because then you can like relate more. It's kind of the same with like the Percy Jackson books or Michael Bay, other ones that I have read recently. All of these I need to reread again because they're so good. But this one is called Edenbrook and it's also set in the 1800s in England. It's just about a girl who wants to get out of her hometown and she goes to this um, estate called Edenbrook. There's adventure, she meets a boy. And then by the same author, is Blackmore and this is about a girl who um, is like super independent she wants to go travel the world so she strikes a deal with her mom and in order for her to travel to India she has to be proposed to three times and reject them three times and so it's pretty interesting so I don't normally read nonfiction I mean obviously I have my sister's book and then this is another great one by Chip and Joanna Gaines if you watch Fixer Upper then you love them already I love them I love that show and this book is just all about their story of how they started their businesses and getting onto their TV show and it's really inspiring and they're really funny and I love them and if you just need some good uplifting inspiration would highly recommend this. These are my all-time favorite books and I just had to share. So the first one is Wings by Aprilyn Pike or Aprilyn, I don't know how to say it. It's another fairy book but it's set in like the modern times and this girl discovers that she's a fairy. First she moves to a new place and she starts a new school and then like weird stuff starts happening and like then she discovers she's a fairy and she meets someone from the fairy realm and there's this whole adventure that goes along with it. And I can't spoil too much, you'll just have to read it. But it's seriously so good. I, I think I read this for the first time in like fifth grade. I've only read it twice, the series twice. There's four books. I need to read it again. And then my other favorite series is called Firelight. And both these series were recommended to me by, almost, actually almost all these books were recommended to me by my older sisters. This one is about dragons, so, but they call them dracai, so it's like half human, half dragons. This is girl who, it's kind of the opposite of Wings, where like she lives in her like dragon world or whatever and then goes to the real world. I love it so much. This is by Sophie Jordan. She is one of my all-time favorite authors. Her other teen fiction books are also so good. There's Rise of Fire and then Uninvited, those two series. You've got to read them. They're so good. Please comment down your favorite series or books or self-help, fantasy, uh, science fiction, any kind. I will definitely add that to my to-read list. If someone needs a new book to read, we all got you. But first things first, read this because it's so good. Make sure you buy our Sister Strong book and give a listen to our new cover, Best Part, that we just put out. 
You can find her music on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, anything. Let me know if you guys read any of these books. Let me know how you like them. And yeah. Good night, everybody.